Hello, um, I'm wondering if you can help me. Um, you treat babies, don't you? Yes, we do, yeah. Would you be able to treat colic? Oh, yes, definitely, yes. And what sort of age do you do you take the babies from? Oh, any any we've done preterm babies that have really just come out of hospital. Any anything, anyone. Right. Okay. So so eight weeks isn't too young then. Oh no no not at all no. Was it a quick birth? No no um I had I had a long labour and then um, oh, right. then I ended up having a cesarean. Right, well, that's what I was going to say. Um, if baby's born very quickly or caesarean, or if they've got fontus or um, forceps, they can go into a kind of a shock because everything's happened so quickly. One minute they're in, next minute they're out. Um, so they don't always get rid of those stresses and strains from what is normally a traumatic birth anyway, but a quick birth. With the quick ones, you tend to get a lot around the diaphragm. Um, so um, if it doesn't release, then you, you get a lot of colic and reflux. Braille osteopathy is an alternative treatment developed by an osteopath based on the assumption that the spinal fluid moves and influences our health. So the osteopath would apply gentle pressure to the skull under the assumption that he can move uh, the bones of the skull. He would treat uh, conditions particularly for children and, and particularly colic, infant colic. And the evidence that this works at all is nil. Uh, the plausibility of the treatment is equally nil. And I would say this is one of the many bogus treatments we have in alternative medicine. Yeah, they don't need the diagnosis. What they'll do is they treat what they feel. You know, we do people, babies, well, children with autism, and sometimes we'll say, I haven't had a diagnosis yet because he's not such and such an age. It doesn't matter to us. They treat what they feel. So can they help with autism as well then? Well, it depends It depends what's, what's going on in the body because some, some uh, children who are autistic or even teenagers, they can be like a coil spring and yeah. they can calm that down, obviously, they, they, can, you know, they treat what, what they can feel is out of alignment or wrong in the body. We do get quite, quite a few that do keep coming for maintenance every six weeks, every two months, something like that. Yeah. We just find that it keep, keeps them calm. Some are dyspraxic. So if, you, if you're into autism, then you'll know that there's, there's a wide variation of symptoms. So an older child who had um, attention problems or autism yes, or behavioural yes, well, problems would... Maybe, maybe benefit. Can't, can't say until she gets her hands on them because they'll feel what they can feel, tightness or, as I say, out of alignment. But it can help. It can help in a lot of people. Have you been on our website? Yeah, well, I've just been on the website and I, I could see that, um, that there's a section on babies and children. So. Yeah, we, the, the thing is, advertising restrictions don't let any therapist say that they treat anything like colic or... Uh, they just, what, what is on everyone's website is the only thing we can put on. So if you look at the testimonials, it gives you a bit more idea there. Oh, I don't know if I've seen the, the testimonies. I see the babies and children, and it, yes. it seems to be just describing exactly what he's like, you know. Yes, um, yeah. But without saying colic. Yes, can't say it. Can't even say colicky pains. Well, thanks very much for that. It's All right. It's been really helpful. If you need any more information, you know, just give me a ring. Great, great. Thank you. Thanks okay. for that, then. Bye. Bye. Well, I, I think it's very surprising to hear that uh, cranial osteopaths treat children, very young children, even preterm children, that they uh, pretend and claim to be able to treat effectively things like infant colic, um, because there's simply no evidence for that. And therefore the, the claims are bogus, and to make bogus claims is unethical. Um, I, I, I think this is quite outrageous. Hello, um, I'm wondering if you can help me. Um, do you treat babies? Uh, we do, yes. 
I was wondering if um, if osteopathy might be helpful for him. Yes, it does. I mean, I've treated quite a lot of babies over the years, but um, I do know of a lady osteopath who specialises in this kind of treatment. The osteopath here is a grumpy baby and colic specialist he does. He's got his master's in osteopathy. But yeah, he definitely does babies. Yeah, uh, we have quite a lot of babies with colic, so, and it is something that we can sort out. So do you see them from quite a young age then? Yeah, from about two days onwards.